Hey, it's your girl Adela, so just in case you didn't know, so. You're, it's your boy 614, the conductor of the train, and we are the, the New, New York, York Dose. And today in the studio with us, we have. Hey, we got your man Elijah the 13th. Um, Roman numeral 13, a.k.a. Mr. Put the Sauce in Arkansas. Okay. A.k.a. Yahweh to the Most High. <laughs> Feel me? We here. Out here, out here. I love it. We're going to get into the first section of our show. This is Empire State of Mind. Nice. Using some New York City slang as segment titles, Empire State of Mind is where we showcase our transparency. During the section, we like to make sure we're good, talk about what's lit in New York City, confess something that dead ass blew our minds mm-hmm. this week, and shout out some people with the yes if yes. they deserve it. So we're going to get into the first segment of this section, and it is who you. So we want to know. Elijah, 13th. Yeah, Who you is? Take a breath. What up? What Wait, up? Hold oh, the fuck shit. up. Take no, a No, we're going to keep on going. Thank you. Even, <laughs> yes. No, I can't even do my mind. <laughs> mind. That's right. Like, I wasn't this, even ready. This train is on the express. <laughs> we are running. Like, the fuck? Oh, man. I wasn't even ready. It's your boy, Elijah, the 13th. Um, I'm an artist, host, curator. Um, I'm a part of the collective, um, the New York-based collective, Uninvited mm. Entertainment. Okay. And yeah, we do all sorts of things. I guess we'll just talk about it. All right. Love that. Love that. We're going to jump into the next segment of this section. This is You Good. So I want to know, Mama Sita, you good? How was your week? How's, how's it been? What's going on? We good over here. I'm just loving people on our live because... Somebody's like, he's kind of cute, though. Okay, <laughs> Liza, <laughs> out here. I you. I'm <laughs> uh, but no, I am great. Well, no, not not great. Oh, well, always great. That's right. But um, you know, a bitch had the flu. Remember last week when I told you guys like I was feeling sick? It, I thought it was just gonna be a cute little cold. You know, I was like, you know, mm. it's windy out here. Um, you know, I was going out with my hair a little bit wet, oh. uh, sometimes, but that shit ended up being, I went to work on Monday and I'm, you know, I nanny and I was trying to like keep it together, Yeah. but my whole body was feeling crazy mm-hmm. <laughs> and, um, cause you know, we need the bread to support our dreams. Hello. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I was like there and then I'm, the mom was working from home and I told her. What, like how I was feeling a little bit. She was like, do you want to go to urgent care? Oh, no. And I was like, you know what? With everything going on around. You was like, considering it. I was like, let me make oh, sure, boy. you know, I do work with children. So let me just make sure. Uh, yeah. um, so I went and they did the whole, that was actually my first time at urgent care. Oh, really? And really? I fucks with it. Like urgent care is lit. <laughs> because was it very urgent? It was urgent. So yes, yeah, so you didn't have to wait fucking three to f- 10 hours to be seen by the doctor. Like, because... You know, if you would have went to the emergency room, like, with, because, you know, if you don't make an appointment with your doctor, yeah. you just go to the emergency just room. Just facts. But yeah, I know about that. <laughs> yeah, and I would have been there forever, so I was happy that they just did that test. <laughs> And, and it didn't it came, come back corona. It didn't come back corona, thank God. Yeah. Thank Even God. though I did hear that the corona test is like $3,000. I mean, yeah, they're going to make their money off of it. They made it, so yeah. you know the vibes. Right. Exactly. I mean, okay. They're really ODing on it. But, um, yeah, so I had the flu the whole week. Uh, I was able to get a week off of work, yes. which was nice. Was it a paid week off? It was a paid week oh, off. That's nice. It was a paid week off. Thank, thank the Lord. That's good, um, because, you know, we still need these c- c- coins. <laughs> I know. That's why I was trying to fight it. That's why I was like, yo, I... I wish the mom wasn't there because I dead ass was going to put like a whole garbage bag on me. <laughs> and just like, you know, not really the baby walk. So I was like, just walk and I wasn't going to carry him mm, or nothing because, right. you know, just to be safe and shit. But um, yeah, it was really rough, though. Like I had to rest like. This motherfucker next to me was texting me 50 billion things. That's right. The work must still be done. <laughs> and, and I'm like, I have the flu. Like, oh, she no. tried to send me a picture of her doctor's note <laughs> that excuse her from work. I was like, well, that doesn't apply because this work should have been done before those dates. Uh, <laughs> I was like, this is the note. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Yo. it was cool. He left me alone for like a day, just which a was day, nice, which just was nice. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like just, <laughs> yeah, cool. just a day to heal, you uh, know. So it was nice, but I think it was also God just saying, like, you know, it was a it was a nice pause, mm-hmm. and Slow I down. feel like going into that like Mercury retrograde 
Uh, that shit is real. I don't care what no one says. <laughs> like, that shit ends March 9th on Monday. So we're almost at an end, guys. Wow. But if you've been feeling, like, super tired or, like, just super, like, laid back or, like, like you know, you, you can still be doing shit, but, like, just feeling like your body yeah. is just, like, it's because of that. Mm. Um, so that should be ending soon. And so that's great that that happened, like, I got sick and then it's going to end, you know, so it's right. just like be a fresh beginning, a fresh beginning. That's cute. Yes. And also happy Woman's Month. It is. Uh, Woman's History uh, Month. My mommy. Shout out to I y'all. Yes. We love, out we love our aunties, yes. grandmas, mommies, yes. okay, sisters, come on. and ne- uh, I was about to say nephews, nieces. Yes. <laughs> you know, all our women. Shout out y'all. We love yes. Our yes. I think it's just so beautiful to see now, especially in 2020, it's just us women like we're really creating our own lanes yes like we're really saying like fuck the system mm-hmm. like and it's and, like i see it more and more like just women like defining themselves who they are through their work mm. like you know and like really like owning that so shout out to y'all That's out here doing it um and yeah i think i finally like need to make a tiktok like i was eating what? pizza and i saw a bunch of people like these kids doing it i'm like <laughs> renegade renegade <laughs> renegade <Yeah>. renegade <laughs> i still ain't joined that tiktok wave i, I just can't get with it like it, it was a day it used to be a time when i could talk to my camera mm-hmm. and that was like before the snapchat phase that's when i was really on instagram type yeah. shit i could curse right yeah, yeah this is oh uh, yeah, yeah so yeah i just feel kind of weird because i feel like those type of things really would come more natural for me like if i really wanted to pick up the camera but like i don't know i feel like it's a reach like a lot of these artists be reaching yeah. they just be doing the most just to be seen like look at me but not to say not to take it away from nobody and you know what they do but just for myself yeah tiktok is it. a very different platform um it's very interesting but it is interesting and it's interesting i want to know like their alg- algorithms because I feel like people like are like Huang fucking went viral. Yes, like yes. our friend like mm. when Skittles, uh, he went viral on TikTok. Skittles related to Bron Ch. Oh. Um, and I'm just like, yo, what the fuck? Like, this yeah, is it's crazy. weird because like I do have friends that be like, yo, I just went viral. Like we'll be talking about <laughs> it two days later. Like, yo, make a TikTok. I got a hundred thousand views. I'm like. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. Like, <laughs> whatever. Happening. But I could see, that's a great act to, for artists. Like, yeah. and I don't know if you could put your own personal music on it. I think you um, can. I'm sure. I don't know. But you I'm know, sure anything is possible. I feel old, yo. I feel like I'm not no longer nah, with the like... waves and like, yo. I think as far as I'm gonna get is like Instagram and Twitter. Welcome I'm to not the club. going no further beyond I, that's that, man. Why I'm just like, maybe I should jump on that's these young me. kids' waves and get oh, TikTok. Nah, <laughs> not, now we old. TikTok. We old now. We could just sit down. He's yeah. not old. He's he told me. I, I heard him early. He we was old. Like, that's he was like, I graduated from high school 2016. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's all right. You know, you, you start to feel like that around then. so fast. Yeah. Know, man. We in a new decade. It's literally something different I'm right now. I'm fucking dead. Wow, I love yes. that. But you good, Papi Chulito? Yeah, I'm good. Um, let me see. Sunday night. Um, Sunday night had a little um a, a fun, unexpected like little like guy chat. Uh, actually, like with Hassan. Hassan came through. And okay. um and Andrew was in the building, and, <laughs> and it, it was it was like the it was like the oddest setup. Um, but uh, you know we were just all talking about Where, our by shit. your bar. Yeah, by the bar, <laughs> by the little bar in the I basement. Knew, I love that bar. It's just like a good talking. And like after it was done, I was just like, it would be dope to have like like just like an all male like podcast to just like talk about some of the shit that you know some girls <laughs> think that we don't talk about or mm, views dope. that we don't have. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I mean I don't know. We'll see. Man, Hassan, we might be cooking in the kitchen. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> 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 nah, I'm just I was gonna say something. Um. Oh, smart about men. I wasn't thinking that. So uh, relax. I, you don't even know what I thought that you I'm was like, thinking. So <laughs> look, because that means that you was thinking it. <laughs> Yo, I'm out of here. Right, right. Out of here. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, that was really dope. Just getting all those just yeah, like put um, your little minds together because they need to be. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, I started a cute little like get ready, get ready with me series um on Instagram, which is you know like I showcasing. I love that you did that. Yeah, just you know, just some ways that I like remix or like put together like some of my outfits and things like that. <laughs> so that's been fun. That's been cute. Um, grandma had another fucking stroke. Like this shit is no, crazy. Why <laughs> why are you laughing? <laughs> this guy what? is so weird. I mean, like, what am I? This is how he shows his pain. <laughs> this is me being very. Wait, I, you know what's crazy? I was thinking of that. I was gonna say, "How's your grandma? Like, is she back she's home?" Fucking stroked again. Yeah, I don't. I, I mean, I don't know. So yeah, we're we're she's moving to a different facility on Monday. Well, it'll be yesterday when this episode comes out. But yeah, I don't know what's she, up with that. Cause she woke up, right? Yeah, she woke up. She was fine. She, she was, was like, fine. yeah, she was in rehab. Like she got to the rehab phase, and right. she was like, she had like mobility, but she had the stroke again. Now she like lost all her mobility. Um, she can still talk though. Um, I went to go see her today before I got here actually, cause like my audition was like around the corner from the hospital, so I was like, let me stop by super quickly. Um, no, it was Lenox, Lenox oh, Hill, okay. like one sixteenth. Um. <laughs> Because I was at Columbia University. But, yeah, so went there. So after she was sleeping, I didn't wake her up. But um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. We'll see. To be well, continued. positive vibrations yes, for send that. Yes, love and light to the Sharia yeah. family. Vibrations. Sure. Love, light, and positive vibrations. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, and then I did that audition, um, which was cool. In and out. That's the way that I love them. Um, and, yeah, and now I'm here. And. I will be leaving town tonight. Where the fuck you going? I'm going to be on some get out shit. Yo, it's <laughs> I told Julissa. I'm going to be on some get out shit. I told Julissa. I was like, yeah, so this, that, and third, like, blah, blah, blah. She was like, all right, first of all, like, I'm going to need you to put your location on for me. She was like, I'm, don't worry, I'm not going to be stalking you, but, like, I just need to follow you, follow you a little bit. Where I need to see you? where you at. Where are you going? Why Julissa knows where you going? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? You know, we'll we'll talk. We'll discuss. No, say it now. <laughs> we'll uh, wow, you be, hear him, just, I'll, guys? I'll like be, he's not telling y'all. Like you I'll fake. Be, I'll you be fake. In the wilderness. I'm gonna be in the wilderness. With who? Don't worry. Harlem Bay. No. With who? Uh, don't worry. Bro, you would definitely <laughs> like if. Come on, if he was in a relationship or something. Right, done. Come on, dead. like you would just kill him. You would just no, kill him. No, no. he's right. in a relationship with me, so he needs to tell me. <laughs> oh, my he God. He needs to tell me. Excuse all, me. All his moves. And there it is. So, <laughs> yeah, but that's going to be late. I'm going to have a good, fun Saturday night into Sunday night. And, yeah, have a good weekend. Um, what, what about you, Elijah, the 13th? My weekend? What's up? What's, how's your week going? How did the whole week go? Um, My week is like stressful i yeah. mean productive but stressful i would say because i'm getting everything done but it's just oh, a lot go. because like i feel like i'm being like i'm gonna say attacked because that would be a very poor word yeah. because that's not it i'm not being attacked but i'm being like um yeah. work is coming at me from like so many different angles yeah. and I, you my them blessed? what's up book them blessed. Book and yeah, it's blessed. crazy because it's like my variable never changes it's like to everybody else their variable changes but to me it's like i'm the person that everybody needs to report to and they need stuff to go get stuff done to go come back to report to me so it's like if i'm like working on a project and i'm working with people and i'm working with this guy who put me on to the whatever you know what i mean so i just feel like it just be a lot yeah but at the end of the day like here we are what saturday i'm alive that's right and um i got a baby shower my cousin is hey. uh, i'm supposed to go to his baby shower I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna go, but I'm not gonna <laughs> say I'm going. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Yeah, I love that guy. You know what I mean? But okay. um, yeah, he actually wanted me to host it. Mm. So okay, I see you. Um, but yeah, other than Are that, you gonna like, be the Godfather. No, <laughs> he's just like, yo, is yeah. Elijah the thirteenth? You know, like, ain't nobody better to ask <laughs> than. G-. I'm like, yeah, Aww. I know the vibe. You that one like, in the family. I feel it. <laughs> I'm that one. You Remember that one? I'm that one in I, life. Yeah, like, yeah. Here I am. I was the golden child growing up. I'm a monkey that. boy, but whatever. Okay, well, there's that one too. But yeah, other than that, like I'm just chilling. I'm kicking it. I'm just trying to focus on, you know, planning for this event that I have coming up. Yes. And we're going to get more into that? Yeah. Um. What, right now? I mean, we could get into it a little bit later. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we're definitely going to get into it. I definitely would like to talk about it a bit more. Love it. Yeah. All right. We're going to roll on over to our next segment. It's lit. And this is it's where we lit. talk about anything that's popping in New York City. <laughs> and this is where we're going to let Elijah talk about his event coming up. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we 
it yeah. here. It got me. Let Smooth it transition. It got me Let New York know. dose. You about to good. get it from Elijah the 13th. All right, so here's the New York dose. From Elijah the 13th, y'all. Yes. Come close, come close, come closer. Come. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a secret. It's a secret. <laughs> nah, ain't no secret. If you know Elijah the 13th, y'all know, like, um, well, I wouldn't even say y'all know because a lot. I feel like my perception to people is kind of, like, mysterious mm. and they know I'm associated with a lot, but not. they can't really put their they finger on yeah. it. Yeah. And, you know, I do yeah, feel... A bit of an enigma. Yeah. 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 And, um... You know, with my that's my own fault, you know what I mean? And I feel like I could have definitely already established my name and my you know, just my identity in general it's within what we're doing. But um yeah, I have this event coming up where I'm about to be launching a brand myself Ooh. and that's gonna be on April fifteenth. I'm launching a uh, um a platform called Invite to Select and um I described it as the first the first urban entertainment media news company of the culture. And the reason why I said that is because it started in a room full of millennials like mm-hmm. ourselves, you know yeah. what I mean? And we're so diverse. We're in New York, so I feel like um, the culture begins with us. Yes. From the, I call the his, Our slogan is from the culture for the culture. I so um, I feel like, yo, um, the, well, I wouldn't even say I feel like, the way I already described it, because I already feel very strongly about it. That's right. So it's like the food that, you know, we technically are eating every day by the media you know it's kind of like brainwashed in a way we're eating off the menu yeah you know what i mean i feel like and i would even say the word whitewash too you know what i mean because i feel like a lot of the people that's in charge of it is kind of like clickbait in and they know what we would like mm-hmm. per se you know what i mean but what's really relevant right you know what i mean so um i feel like it happens here first and from the culture for the culture like we're going to be delivering the most relevant entertainment Ooh, media news i'm talking health education like all of that type of stuff in one platform um so yeah, that's what April fifteenth is all about, and I'm gonna be launching that. Shout out to Mr. Don, mm-hmm. um, he helped me get this venue space as well. So um, yeah, it's gonna be a great event. Come on, Mr. Don. We're gonna be networking from eleven to seven, um, from eleven a.m. to seven p.m. And okay, um, a whole day. Yeah, Come it's on. gonna be it's gonna be active, so people that's gonna lit. be in and out yeah. all day. Right. Um, we're gonna focus. I'm gonna focus the launch of the invited select from 6:45 up until nine, uh, up until 8:30. Okay. 8:30, nine-ish, and then I'm gonna start that party session around like 9:30 until it ends because it's gonna be crazy. <laughs> until because no we have the spot, we have the spot for hours till like the next day. So wow, if y'all. It ends lit. at five, six o'clock. We partying until five, six o'clock, ladies and gentlemen. Let's y'all are it. lit. Put us on to Mr. Don. I need to talk to Mr. Don too. Wait, okay. what's the, where is it at? Oh, so pardon me. It's at this place called Loft 172. Mm. That's on Classen Avenue. Um, 172 Classen Avenue is like right by the G train. Um, Bum ass G train. <laughs> it's dope over there. It's actually a really that, nice. That neighborhood is great. Yeah, it's, really I, I like class, is it's just awful. sometimes getting to the G train is just like, why? I mean, I never really, I mean, Nobody I don't got no train. business on the G train. <laughs> right. Except, <laughs> except for when I was in Court Square. <laughs> But, true, you know what true. I mean, I was fucking with Core Square a little bit. But other than that, like, you know what I mean? Hop on the G train to come to 172 Class and Avenue. Love 172. And you be lit. having the dope spots because I remember you, you had uh, you did that Halloween event. Yeah, yeah that was really dope. What spot was that? That was FD Studios and... Um, where is that? Um, that part of Queens. I forget. What, um, Long Island City. You see, Queens be having, like, the space. Yeah, yo, I and they do, like and I feel like it'd be so low key it that is, like you gotta really very, find it. Once you find like it, when you tell people Queens, yeah, it's like they, they don't, don't want to go yeah, there. They, they nobody want to come to Queens nobody for any event. Nobody want to go to fucking Queens. Like, but that's why you, I separated. I'd be like, oh Manhattan Queens, or um, I'd be like Manhattan Queens, <laughs> or you know, like or Brooklyn Queens, because mm. nobody wants to go to Brooklyn, Brooklyn Queens because it's. it's Way too deep. No, nah, Brooklyn Queens. I mean, I feel like for some people, that's the L train right there. Everybody love the L train. Yeah, the L's lit, and they were dead as about to take that shit off. Yeah, I mean, but they knew that they. Was I knew that. <laughs> I knew there was something wrong with that statement or that ideology, but whatever. Yes. I ain't entertain it. Hello, yeah. hello. Yes, we got Leticia in the studio with us today. Oh, we here. We active. <laughs> what up, Mama Sita? Yes. <laughs> yes. Come on, live studio audience. Hello. Okay. Oh, um, <laughs> I love that. I love that. All right. Addy, what about you? What about what, Duncan giving free donuts? Dun- what? <laughs> what, 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 what? What a minute. Bum ass oh. Duncan donuts. Excuse me. I got the Duncan app. Those my niggas. <laughs> yeah. It. For the whole month of March, uh, Duncan Donuts is giving away, away free donuts. But, you know, they had that was the, the title. But then I looked at the little, you know, 
fucking rules and oh yeah the fine print and it says you have to buy a drink and then you get a free donut and it's only on friday so i was like this ain't free but (laughs) right period i love my good strawberry sprinkles i do love a strawberry sprinkle too yes or chocolate so you know for if you want to get a free donut you know for i know that you like duncan and yes. uh, well, other, there's a lot of other people who do like donuts. i like donuts <laughs> <laughs> i like donuts they usually give me a free one anyway hey play. hello i do duncan for um their uh their beyond patty what is it it's like You're the, the, the beyond sausage You're yeah disgusting. it's amazing <laughs> first of all it tastes amazing <laughs> um yeah they have they they have their own how, line of beyond how do you feel about beyond burger king beyond like uh, what is that like i don't even know what like, that oh, is okay so it's all it's 99 percent um like plant-based um, it's for like vegans and things like that. Uh, so like, if you don't eat meat, you now have an option. In these fast food restaurants, what do you think? Well, because I feel like they use the same oils, but I mean, for the meat. boom. First of all, I don't eat fast food, so I really don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't have much of an opinion because to me, like, first of all, I don't even really like meat. Like, I if I'm eating meat, it's like chicken or like fish, right? And I barely even eat chicken. So if I'm eating like a burger or something, I'm definitely not really fucking with no fast food. Yeah. So I'm like already looking at it and cringing. But, right, right. Um, it's just not for you. When I think about it, like, I don't know. Like, when I think about it, I just be like, bullshit. Yeah, yeah. I just look at it and I think everything is bullshit. Sorry. I feel that. But, you know, it's for it's for those people that, like, would still <laughs> like to indulge in those fast food things. Yeah. But, like, there was never an option for them. Like, I remember, like, when I was on tour and I was just, like, on the road, you know, and, like, my tour mate, like, she was eating left and right here and there. And at that <laughs> time, the Burger King didn't have the impossible thing, McDonald's only had that stale ass fish patty so you know what i mean it it, it gives the options yeah. kfc has vegan nuggets that i have not encountered one in the city yet that has it though mm. but that chain like the other thing is they have like these vegan nuggets that you can try um mcdonald's doesn't have anything yet and um yeah there's a few there's a, there's a lot I'm of places i'm not gonna that lie i'm things. not gonna lie i do want <laughs> i do want to try the impossible whopper <laughs> Only for content. (laughs) Yeah, I'm sure. Try it on camera. Only for content. Should definitely try it on camera. That impossible whopper is life. No, I do miss Burger King so much, but ever since I went to the Burger King by J Street Metro Tech (laughs) in Brooklyn. I was on that line and I saw cockroaches. <laughs> I swear, there was like three people in front of me, and I'm just like on my phone. I look up and I see the the cups. You know, the cups are yeah. just like, and I just see two or three cockroaches oh, going up, and I'm like, oh, oh my fuck. god, <laughs> having a And then oh. the person that just ordered was saw it too. They were like, we would like a refund. <laughs> I see like kids coming from, or like I see kids from, coming from school, and their parents are like getting them all this junk and oh, i'm like man. ooh i'm oh, like, uh, oh, like oh. if like, they no. if they not going to regulate them right. who going to do no, it no. like oh yeah. man <laughs> All right. Well, for me, um, the thing that's lit again is we are on Anchor hey. and a shit ton of other Fish spots tissue. where you can find your podcast um, needs. We will not be on SoundCloud anymore by the no end of the more. month. So just no. switch on from there. Okay. Oh, y'all getting professional. We've done, done, <laughs> done, done. Even though, I love SoundCloud because you know yeah. that was our start. And yeah. SoundCloud like, was cute. SoundCloud was cute. That's the home Ooh, right there. We got love. It is home. It was home for a long time, but sometimes you got to move away from home. Another thing that's very <laughs> lit in the city is I got on the train for the first time in a, in a, in a while, um, two days ago, and I got to the fucking like little turnstile thing on 14th Street, and it looked like... I don't know. It looked like fucking um, like Mega Man. I don't know. Like the thing just looked like a Transformer. I was like, what the fuck is this? What am I supposed to do here? Um, but it was one of those like... I guess like keypad screens where you can like either like just tap your credit card or just like oh, no. um uh you you like can swipe use your Apple phone Pay. or some shit like. yeah like you just hold the phone up to it or you hold your credit card up to it and now that's the way that you can pay and I forgot who I was talking to but somebody was like somebody was like oh yeah now this is a way for the people that have been hopping to pay and I'm like you think that the people that was hopping have fucking Apple Pay. Like, <laughs> you know what funny. I mean? But like, I do know somebody, like I did see somebody tweet that. It was like, yo, I tried to hop the turnstile and this shit took the money out right out my phone. Oh, shit. I did yo, see that. you going over? <laughs> yeah, yo, you I tight. did see that. Yo. 
you tired. So, they, they you know. Switched. No, you know what's crazy? I actually, because my card has been fucked up for two weeks. Mm -hmm. So I've been, I, f I had to, for I was forced to use Apple Pay because before I used to be like, I don't need that shit. Apple like, Pay is lit. But it's dead ass lit. And a lot of a lot of places have it now. Yeah, yeah mad places have so it. So I was just like, oh shit, let me just try. And that shit took that shit with a quickness. Mm -hmm. Like, because I was like, I feel like these shits is going to have delays or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. But that shit was quick and easy. It's very so cute. I was like, okay, but that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to you go over. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> well, <laughs> shit away anyway. from that's everything. That's mm -hmm. fucking hysterical. We're going to move over to our next segment. This is Dead Ass, where we talk about anything Dead that blew ass. our mind during the week. So, um, Adeloso, what's going on with you while we give Elijah some time to think about it? Yes, um, just this fucking coronavirus, mm. fucking whole fucking... Ma like, what is it called? Hysteria? Yeah. Yeah. People are really OD. <laughs> But yeah. uh, also, like, I just, like, I don't know what's true. I don't know what's not true. Like, a lot of things, like, that goes on in our country. But um, I just feel like people are really OD. I saw that uh, South by Southwest got That's canceled. Mm -hmm. which, canceled. Which was crazy because it's been, they said it was the first time it's canceled in 34 years. Yep. <laughs> so people's is tight. Like, I saw people like, damn, I was looking. For, like it's People just were going to perform. It's a huge source of income like, yeah. for it's that city also. It's investments. You take off shit from work like yeah. you know like it's a big thing like you never know this is a could have been a big moment for some artists yeah. like you know so i feel like i felt really i was like dead ass because i yeah. felt for all of them and i was just thinking like what if we decided to go this year like i was thinking of that yeah. and i was like that would have been a bad first time for yeah. me yeah because we was planning on it we was like yo we're gonna go this year right. and it would have been a bad oh this is our first time going and, and then, then pfft, the done, right? done. that hurt figure it out so, um, a lot of people were upset because people were just saying, like, they really think that they dragging the corona virus mm. and people who just need to fucking wash their hands. And I'm just like, yeah, I, I, I agree. But um, it's kind of been fucking crazy and just that I like people been in quarantine. Mm -hmm. Like the, uh, my sister was telling me that she's been on Twitter and that there's this lady that's just been tweeting every process of that. Like, oh, I forgot her. which state. Mm. Her sterilization. Like, and like staying at home and like all like the city like is forcing imagine New York forcing you to stay inside. That's <laughs> gridlock. Like, imagine it's over. It's wild. That's crazy. So I said my that's my dead ass. Wow, that's look yours. at that. You got anything for us, Elijah? You got a dead yeah, ass? Yeah, I got a dead ass as soon blew as your I mind. Man, y'all saw that video with the little boy on the gate with the police officer. Oh no, I didn't see that no. one. It's a little boy, right? He don't know what he did wrong. Obviously, the nigga ain't do nothing wrong. Mm. He's a young kid. Right. Like, how young? Like, what age range? Gotta be, like, 15, 16. Right. Okay. And um, apparently, he's, like, outside. It's kind of nighttime. Um, The video kind of starts with the police officer already, like, trying to detain the kid. And he, the kid is asking him over and over, like, what did I do? Yeah. Y'all already know. What? What? Uh, uh. I'm here. Yeah. Kill it, though. Fuck out here. Let's go. What's good? Uh, what's good, everybody? What's good? 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 What's good, everybody?